What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I got some new news concerning Luis King Kong Ortiz. According to Jay Jimenez, Luis King Kong Ortiz or any of his team has not received any offers from Alexander Usyk. You know, this was a big rumor that said that Usyk would, had three guys in mind. The top of the list was Luis Ortiz, then Dillian White, um, <clears throat> or Pervectin you know, as one of his opponents, you know, and Jay Jimenez just squashed all those rumors and say, hey, that's simply not true. We haven't received anything from the Usyk's camp. OK, so they reiterated, hey, we haven't received anything from their camp. Nothing at all. Of course, we've heard the rumors, but we haven't had anything sent, you know, and, you know, Jay Jimenez went on to say, like, yeah, you know, we notice a lot of people that use Luis Ortiz's name, you know, as a hype job, but then they disappear, you know, and let me counterpunch that. I think Jay Jimenez is right. I see a lot of people that is doing the same shit. OK, the same things has been said and done many times over. You've heard it been said. You heard people call out. Luis Ortiz's name, and then all of a sudden, they do disappear. You don't hear anything from it. You know, you hear, oh, yeah, we're sending an offer. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Yeah, we want Ortiz. Bring on King Kong. Dig up the old guy. You know, he's old. Dig him up, this, that, and the other. You know, and then you don't hear anything else about it. Then when it gets back to Ortiz's camp, they're like, hell, we ain't heard nothing. You think if these guys, you think these guys that have one of the top five heavyweights in the world, I believe, uh, Luis Ortiz. You think these guys are pulling uh, Shelly Finkel and Deontay Wilder? No, they want to fight the best guys. It's everybody avoiding that particular guy because they know he's dangerous and he doesn't have a payday behind his name. That's the only reason. You know what I mean? So not only won't you get paid like you, I guess you wish for the risk, but then you'll get knocked out in the process. So I get it. You know, it's all about business a lot of times with these guys, you know, but they haven't heard anything. But they'll take but like Jay Jimenez said, they'll take that fight in a second. He also added that, you know, I think Usyk, you know, is a good fighter, but he needs to fight someone else first. And I absolutely agree because I did a video about that, you know, possibilities of who Usyk will fight. And I made that <clears throat> recommendation of Ortiz. But. Why would you want to fight someone like Ortiz? I wouldn't even recommend Joe Joyce to fight Ortiz, even though Joe Joyce, another example of a guy that calls out Luis Ortiz. Then after that, you hear crickets. You don't hear shit else. When Ortiz's camp speaks, Ortiz himself says, sure, dale, right? Meaning, come on, let's go. Well, you don't hear anything. You hear crickets. Jiminy crickets. That's all you hear. You don't hear a peep, Right? You don't even hear a church mouse when he says, OK, I accept the fight. Where you at? You don't hear anything. That's the thing about it. I'm like, what's the deal with people want, like not fighting Ortiz? But quick to talk his name. It's getting aggravating, guys. It, it aggravates me to hear about this type of news or to hear rumors. And you know what I mean? Sure, I report it. But then I'm like, OK, how is this going to end up? You know, I'm looking for someone that has the balls to come and fight Luis King Kong Ortiz like Mikey Garcia saying, fuck it, I'll fight Errol Spence because that's how I look at Ortiz in the heavyweight division. He's like a Southpaw Errol Spence. Well, Errol Spence is a Southpaw. So he's like a heavyweight Errol Spence in his own division. Okay. Because there's nobody that really wants to fight him. And he's even worse, worse, worse. So because there's people actually want to fight Spence. Let's be real. But the way he was maybe a year and a half ago when he was looking for fights and Sean Porter was like, uh, uh, Keith Thurman, I'm hurt. Uh -uh. You know what I mean? Danny Garcia, no, nah, I'm not with that. I'll fight it one day. Uh -uh. You know what I mean? So that's where Luis King Kong Ortiz is, is right now in the whole ordeal of getting fights, of getting people to fight him. You know what I mean? Damn, did the Deontay Wilder fight scare you guys that much? You can't get in there with a quote unquote 49 year old man. Come on, let's let's be real about this, man. I mean, because. A lot of people say, why are you always talking about Ortiz? It's not me talking about Ortiz. Why is everyone else talking about Ortiz? That's the question you ask yourself. 
So if you're going to ask me, why am I talking about Ortiz? Ask everyone else. Boxers, people that prize fight, that fight for purses. This is their fucking job and they can't pick this particular opponent. But he's so old and he's on old legs like Tyson Fury says. And he's this, he's that, and he's underrated and he'll get knocked out. Okay, do that shit then, please. For the love of God, someone fight Ortiz and knock him out. Silence the critics. And I'm one of them, right? I'm a critic. Silence me. Because all I see is people using his name for fame, for quick hype flame. And that's it. And the flame's out. Done. You know, when he gets to talking and then, oh shit, getting too real, I'm out. <laughs> so anyway, you guys tell me um, what you think about Usyk. Um, Ortiz's camp, their comments, of course, this video, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.